Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show a few things from chapter 2 of SolidWorks Quick Start. And you'll see that I have a SolidWorks window opened up. So I'm going to come in here, start my part. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I need to check my document properties to make sure that I have, I'm on ANSI standard and it's on ISO so we're going to change it and make sure my units are set to millimeter gram seconds okay okay so we got that part done I want to view my origins first I want to set it so I view origins so view origins I'm going rather fast because I um, I, you can use the pause button. Okay, sketch. I want to make a sketch. I want to put it on the front plane. And I'm going to draw a center point circle. Now, here's a trick. If I'm horizontal with the center point, I'll get that dotted blue line. And I'll also get a horizontal line to the lower right of my um, mount, my pointer. This makes a vertical. I'll put the point vertical with the origin if I do it like this. Again, I'll get a vertical line. It goes away. The vertical line appears when you're vertical with the origin. And to the lower right of my pointer, a vertical line appears. And the dotted lines appear up to the origin. Now to place a point right on the origin, which is what I want to do, I move my pointer up to where the origin turns orange. And then I have a little yellow T to the lower right of my pointer, which indicates a relationship, that it's a coincident relationship. That's exactly where I want it. Click here, move out. Don't worry about the size right now. Just click, make a circle. And then we're done. Click the green arrow and check mark and we're done. To set the dimension of the circle, you use this smart dimension tool. Click on the circumference of the circle somewhere. It turns orange. Click. Drag at an angle. Click. And the circumference is supposed to be what? I've got to get my notes here. Twenty millimeters. Oops. Got to make sure I'm in my data entry box. Twenty millimeters. Click. And it'll click down to 20 millimeters. Uh, I'm done with the dimension tool. Now I can extrude it. The default is blind. It just goes one way. And along this arrow direction, you can grab the arrow and change it, by the way. Which I just did. We don't want blind, though. We want midpoint. That means it goes both directions. There's other options too. You'll see, you see in this drop down menu. Mid plane is what we want. And it is, again, I believe it's 20 millimeters. Yes, it is. Okay. And we're done. We see the feature tree now. And I'm going to drop down the boss extrude and right click on sketch one and now I want to edit the sketch which you can do I can click on this and make this 40 millimeters double click here and I can just bring up the dialog box right where my pointer is get out get out exit sketch and now I got a big fat wheel I can control Z or do the undo, this undo button right up here, or Control Z. And under File, you can do a redo, but you can't redo it from right now. If you could, it would show up. Okay, Control Z, get it, get it undone. Uh, Control Z, there we go. Exit the sketch, and I ought to be back to my regular. Now, um, you can do something else here. You can change the plane that you're on. Right click on the sketch. 
edit sketch plane. Um, drop down the feature tree, which is right over here now. It changed position. If I want to put it on the top plane, I can do that. Check. And it looks like that. Control Z goes back to where it was before. Right click. Uh, I won't do it again. You guys get the idea. Um, and that's where I'm going to stop this video for right now. And I will pick this up. We'll start drawing the Revolve Boss Base on the next video.